welcome back welcome back to the channel if you haven't already please subscribe this short video is an interesting one we're going to let you meet Haggis the hare she's uh, orphaned brown hare from the wild that our son Kyle is growing on looking after he had to do a bit of emergency research when he was brought Haggis because when you say orphan, you immediately think of someone found a baby hare sitting on its own in a field, and of course, that's exactly what baby hares do. Um, a little bit like people find orphan tawny owls that are on the ground in a woodland. Babies, they're not, they're not babies that have fallen out the nest, they're baby tawny owls that have left the nest. And way too many um, every spring get handed into bird rescues because people generally think they're helping the baby out, leave them where they are for sure. However, Haggis's story was documented, it was known the problem, a good friend of Kyle does a lot of groundwork. He, he cuts and mows around villages and large gardens and that kind of gardening, sort of almost commercial gardening. And they was asked to cut down uh, a very large garden meadow. Unfortunately, not surrounded by more meadow. And just missing the mower blades was a, a small leveret, a baby hare. We're talking this big, tiny baby hare. Now nowhere left for it to hide, nowhere to put it, that his mum's going to find it anywhere near. So the decision was made to bring it into captivity, give it a home and actually study it because hares are mythical creatures even today. So Kyle's done a lot of more studying how to raise hair, the right kind of milk because it's obviously at the stage it needs milk. But it's been not just fascinating that he's managed to nurture this young leveret, it's actually amazing that the the hare is showing the ways of the hare even at this young age so for instance they feed once or twice in a 24 hour period when the mum comes back to feed them milk they don't soil themselves where they're sitting they wait until after dark and leave their hiding place and travel a reasonable distance to, to poo and wee and travel back to their little their little form where they're hiding covered but in the open as a hare does which is quite amazing because obviously if it, if it doesn't do that, it's leaving a scent for predators to home in on it. It's an animal that hides almost out in the open. So fascinating. So we thought we'll show you some of Haggis's early growing up. Incredibly tame and cute already. She, she's not designed to go back into the wild. She's too um, settled with dogs and humans and that kind of thing for her survival. We thought we'd show you some of her growing up in this short video and then as she grows up we're going to include that into our vlog so if you're interested in hairs like we are you'll get to sort of see anything she does and also her, her how far she grows and and how she interacts really with humans it's been fascinating for us fascinating for Kyle and what's been apparent and quite interesting we're falconers and we're fishermen now both of those things to a degree are hunting aren't they that's 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 what they are if you are opposed to people hunting and feeding themselves or their animals from wild the wild larder that's your opinion and that's fine by me but of course if you are a meat eater and you have that opinion you've also got to really look at the ethics of where your meat comes from and I can assure you wild the wild larder kind of has a better life before it's eaten than most farm stuff and that's not taking anything away from farmers whatsoever so if, you know if you're opposed to that kind of thing that way of life even you must of course if you're not a vegan look at the meat you source for your table but what's fascinated us is the amount of people that have genuinely and, and these are, some of these are really really good friends of ours in fact one of them was my wife's best friend Clara who is an absolute animal lover and she genuinely asked without not, not mickey taking she genuinely asked but i don't understand why would kyle care about this hair and why would he bring it on and look after it because he hunts hares with his falconry birds through the winter she said i don't understand i don't get it why would he care why hasn't he just fed it killed it and fed it to one of his birds and indeed other falconers have said to kyle the flip side is Oh, what are you going to do with that? Feed it to one of your birds. And they mean it. So it's, it's interesting. And I think any true hunter, a true hunter, is the 
best of naturalists, the best of conservationists, and every single one of them cares more about their quarry, genuinely and genuinely, than anyone else. Fishermen care about the fish. People that fly hares with their eagles or hawks genuinely care about the hare, its habitat, and its numbers. So an interesting side of society that if you don't get it, I don't know if I could explain it in a way that you would get it, but of course we've all got our opinions and what we hope is you enjoy seeing a glimpse into the life of a hare. We certainly are. So enjoy this short video, keep it on the vlogs for more progress.